hey guys welcome back to another gta 5 tutorial we are going to be installing enable all interiors today so go ahead and download this 9.0 that will be the current version as i'm recording this video right now and please consider reading the description as well there's some information right here that you might need to know in terms of the requirements for to make sure uh our enable all interiors is working properly we are going to need to install lemon ui as well all right and uh the other thing make sure you do have your scriptbook v your scriptbook v.net and your native ui already installed properly all right and in terms of our lemon ui you are going to need to download at least two files all right so go ahead and download this 1.7 that says current and make sure you do download this 1.5 point two version right here we need we do need a folder to install in our game to make sure everything is running properly so make sure you do download both of these files right here all right so with that said guys let me go ahead and invite you to my channel over here if you are very much serious about modding gta 5 either for lspdfr or for some real life mods i do have a slew of mods tutorials for you everything is already arranged all you gotta do is just follow just start from the top over here and make your way down i feel like that way you're gonna find it to uh your modding gta 5 is going to be a little bit more easy and for uh pretty much the same thing for real life mods as well go ahead and start from the top and make your way down everything is right here for you all right so with that said guys let me go ahead and minimize this page right here as you can see here on my right hand side i do have everything already downloaded my enable all interiors and my two files for lemon ui all right and then over here i do have my gta 5 main directory so go ahead and open up your gta 5 main directory and we do need this script folder right here so if you do not have the script folder go ahead and right click over here go to new new folder go ahead and name it scripts in small letters like i have done over here any other way your scripts will not work all right so once you have that done guys let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder as you can see i do have a slew of things already installed over here and i already do have everything in here already uh installed in my game but we're just gonna go ahead and install it again for the purposes of this tutorial all right so let's go ahead and open up our enable all interiors all right it's a good habit to actually try to unzip your files just in case you need to uh edit some files uh it makes it much more easy all right so let's go ahead and open up this ai file over here go to uh scripts as you can see we do have all of these files right here all you're going to need is this these folders that i just highlighted right here is going to be the ifruit add-on uh two folder right here enable all interiors dot dll and enable all interiors configuration settings and the ifruit add-on two uh dot dll all right so go ahead and drag and drop all of these files into your scripts folder i am going to go ahead and replace mine as you can see one over here two three four okay so with that done with that said let's go ahead and close that let's go ahead and move this one over here and now we're gonna go ahead and open up our lemon ui uh which version this is i think this should be the 1.7 version right here so go ahead and unzip your files just like so and then we're just gonna need this file over here so go ahead and open up this group of v.net 3 go ahead and open this up and we are going to need to drag and drop all of these three files onto your scripts folder before i can replace it as you can see mine is already right here but i'm just gonna go ahead and replace mine and there you go and we are done with that install let's go ahead and move this one to the top now let's go ahead and open up the next one for lemon ui go ahead and unzip your files all right as for this one guys as you can see we do have two files over here and we do have this one that we just installed but we don't need this one we only need this one over here the group of it.net 2 okay so go ahead and make sure you do open up the uh the, the script of it.net 2 go ahead and open that one up as you can see here on my scripts folder i already have these files in here all right so go ahead and drag and drop all of these three files onto your scripts folder just like so i'm to go i'm just gonna go ahead and replace mine and with that said guys you are pretty much done with the install now let's go ahead and jump into the game and see if this uh if our enable all interiors is actually working 
all right where the fuck is it <laughs> where is mine ah, it's right there anyways Alrighty guys, we are in the game. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a look and see if we can get into the uh some of these buildings over here. Alright, let's just go ahead and pull in on this one right here. I'm pretty sure you can get inside over here. As you can see over there by the door, you do have that blue marker. So that means our enable all interiors. So far, it's looking good. All right. So if I can go ahead and open up my GTA 5 menu right now, and uh, as you can see, all of these white blips over here of the buildings, some of them can be for like houses and stuff like that. That means you can, you do have access to some. Some of these over here i think this one is like uh what is this a nightclub over here so you should be able to have access to some of this stuff right here and what the hell is this over here uh lesotho's car meet so you can go ahead and come over here i'm pretty sure some of this stuff we can only access online but uh with open all interiors you should have an option to take a look at some of this stuff right here um so i'm gonna need to come over this side over here and see what the hell is going on i haven't played online in a long time so i'm not really sure what's going on over here uh we do have some of this one over here what the hell is this uh rosa scrapyard all right i guess you can you do have access to this now uh but for the purposes of this tutorial guys we're just gonna go ahead and get inside this building right here and see what's going on all right so we should be able to get inside so let's go ahead and make our way upstairs given that uh our open all interiors is working properly all right so when you go ahead and start over here it's gonna say enter the interior so let's go ahead and enter this bad boy and i uh, will do spawn inside can you actually go inside here yep you can actually come inside this place right here uh like i said i haven't played online in a long time i think you can actually change can you actually change the texture of this thing i'm not sure i'm not sure if you have the option uh was it like you had to stand like um at the door or something like that to then get the option to change i don't even know man but as you can see you are able to get access of this building right here so you can go ahead and use this space for your gta 5 role play and stuff like that if you want to go ahead and do some uh youtube videos on that respect this could come in very very handy right here and uh there is no chair over here why is no chair i'm pretty sure there's like a a hidden place over here i guess it's not working only for online but you know you can use this space for whatever you want uh let's go ahead and see i think this one is working this telescope over here let's go ahead and check out this bad boy already franklin all right so you can use this space right here as your main apartment or something like that or for whatever you want you can use this space like as a pip as a party space or something i don't know man the options are endless it just depends on your creativity and stuff like that all right to get this bad boy franklin looking hair like clean all right i want to take a look and see if uh i hope I, I wish there were chairs over here mate would have uh every, all the setup and everything like that let me see if i can actually use these computers over here i guess you can at least two things are working at least two things are working uh let's go ahead and check out uh what's what's over here like i said i haven't played online in, in such a long time i don't even know what's what's new online right now i can't be bothered having to buy <laughs> to having to buy a lot of things for no reason i can't be bothered with the online stuff right now but anyways you can, you guys can see that uh, this space is working i'm pretty sure you can you should be able to access most of the stuff over here i think this is where your secretary uh sits or something like that don't really have that many options but uh, you can use this space for whatever you want so that's another cool part about it all right let's go ahead and make our way downstairs here real quick I think that's pretty much it man for the install and the um for the install and the showcase of open all interiors we're not gonna get into too many stuff you can go ahead and explore some of these guys on your own time um the most important thing is that uh 
your stuff is working all right so for all of this stuff right here in white you should be have uh you should be able to have access to at uh, this uh this one is life invader over here so you should be able to use the space as li a life invader as well uh what's right here what is this what kind of facility is this i'm not quite so sure but you can go ahead as you can see over here by pelito bay as well you do have another spot where you can go ahead and clock and bell over here you can go ahead and go inside and what's over here the military base or something like that is that it i think i think that's the military base right there you can go ahead and get inside if you want and there's another crib that you can actually get uh uh use this as your stash house or something like that if you want and what's over here um says some type of farm but have i ever been yeah i think i've been here a lot of time but never use or oh, i think i i know which uh which uh, house farm that is so there's a lot of stuff here guys that you can go ahead and use uh for your gta 5 role play and stuff like that so it just depends on your creativity and how you see things so with that said guys thank you so much for watching all right thank you so much for subscribing and i'll catch you guys on the next tutorial and please go ahead and check out my playlist on uh, my gta 5 tutorials either for lspdf or for real life mods i'm trying to make sure when you do follow my tutorials everything is going to be running smooth for you all right so right now me and dr franklin over here uh we're just gonna go ahead and try to find something to do we do have a lot of stuff that we could be into but we're just gonna go ahead and relax for now all right pull up in their bugatti and shit anyways thank you so much for watching thanks so thank you so much for subscribing